If you're not using a channel mixer adjustment, here are some cool use cases to get you started. It is the best way to convert images to black and white, can increase colors and contrast, remove yellow color cast, add warmth and accentuate the skin colors. Let's go! If you ever wanted to convert an image to black and white, the channel mixer is the way to go. It generates the most balanced output. Just add the channel mixer and set the output channel to grey and you're done. If you're interested why this is the best method, I'll put a link in the description to a video explaining the different black and white conversions. Increase colors in a photo? No problem, the channel mixer got your back. Set the output channel to lab, decrease the lightness to zero and we are only left with the colors. When we apply the channel mixer in the screen blend mode, we boosted the colors of the photo. Pretty easy. You like the color, but you also need contrast? The channel mixer can handle that too. After we set the channel output to lab, we put the lightness to 50 and the B opponent to 50. Just make sure the changes are done in the lightness channel. Let's now apply this in hard light blend mode and in the blend options change the fill opacity to 50%. Awesome! If you have an image with a yellow color cast, the channel mixer can help. Go to the blue channel and set the green and blue to 50% and the yellows will disappear. Instead of removing the yellows, we can also use the channel mixer to add a tint of yellow to make photos warmer. Change the output channel to lab, switch to the B component and adjust the lightness to 5, the A opponent to 25 and the B opponent to 80% and we got ourselves a nice warm glow. If you ever wanted to increase skin tone color, the channel mixer could be one of the adjustments you can use. Change the output channel to CMIK, switch to the yellow channel and set the magenta to 50 and the yellow to 150%. Before closing the dialog, switch to the magenta channel and set the yellow to 50. Look at the nice oversaturated skin colors we have. To blend it in, we can lower the opacity to a level you like or even go to the blend options and adjust the blend range. With the help of a mask, you can make sure it only applies to the skin area. The channel mixer is awesome and I hope this video has inspired you to make more use of it. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you like this video and as always, thanks for tuning in. Until the next video.